I'm a microbiologist and that means I'm studying the smallest living creatures, the bacteria. And I'm studying them in snow and ice and the seawater below the ice. And uh, in particular, I'm working on frost flowers. When seawater first freezes over, you get a thin film of ice that forms on the surface of it. And then immediately, brine, or the seawater from below, gets pushed up onto the surface of the ice. And then from that brine and some little nodules that form on the surface of the ice grow frost flowers. It turns out that these frost flowers have high concentrations of bacteria in them. So if you look out on the, the ice scape out here and you look at the snow and everything that you can see, very low concentrations of bacteria. But if you clear the snow, clear the ice, and let seawater freeze over and these frost flowers form, the frost flowers have high densities of bacteria in them. So this makes us want to know what are those bacteria doing? Why is there such a high concentration there? And what I have not been able to do before and could do now, am doing now, is see the growth phase of the frost flowers. Uh, we've actually created a pond. We've made our artificial polynia, so to speak. We opened up some ice, let it freeze, and we can watch the temporal progression of the ice freezing and the frost flowers forming. Nobody ever expected that there would be life in frost flower. The fjord is frozen over, so there's, you would think there's no chance for anything in the seawater to move. But if you bring the bacteria up into frost flowers and aerosol them, then they can disperse as far and wide as the wind goes. So it's a really cool way to move seawater bacteria into the atmosphere, even when everything seems to be totally frozen over. So I'm expecting that there are some bacteria in there that are doing something. That's the discovery yet to come.